at the Hunter Ausgrading Stadium. But first though, the AFL Hunter Central Coast has been shocked and saddened by the bus tragedy that occurred on Sunday night. And of course it occurred up at Greta in the Hunter Valley, but also the loss that, uh, that Singleton has suffered. And also they've sent their deepest condolences to all those affected in the accident, especially the two players a male and a female player from the Singleton Roosters. Also, as a mark of respect, all matches across the AFL Hunter Central Coast um, seniors will be cancelled and all juniors will be postponed this weekend. And also, a postponed round of junior matches will be rescheduled during the wet weather round on the 13th of August. Also, normal fixturing will resume in um, at about two weeks. And of course, let's have a look at round nine of the match that occurred last week. It was the match of a lifetime between between Newcastle City and the Singleton Roosters which is round nine. It was also the last time that one of Singleton's male players took part. But of course, Newcastle City kicked in first. City fought back before Singleton fought back. And there he is, and he faces the camera as well. Well done, Book. Congratulated by Terry Berg and Kane Simons. And... Then, good news for Singleton. They kicked their second goal. A beautiful goal there. Ollie Singleton's second since that midway stage of the second term. Yeah, Ollie's the call for Ollie Moody, but I thought you were referring to that shortened season in 2020, the prelim final at Pastor Field. And... Yeah, well, we we played single in our last home and away game. And... Even though it wasn't enough, Newcastle City eventually won 108 to 50. For me, while on the other one, Cardiff defeated the entrance batter Bay 150 to 41, while Colonial defeated Maitland 58 to 20. What well, the match between Telgo Avoca and Nelson Bay was called off. Also, the match you just saw, Newcastle City defeated Singleton. The war in the war in the men's plate, and of course, Cardiff were edged out by Telgo Avoca. Also, Newcastle City hammered Wyong. Warners Bay demolished Kalani Val by two. But meanwhile, Turgle, Avoca and Lake Macquarie were forced to call off their game, while Newcastle City had a win over Cardiff. Also, Kalani Val, the Singleton Roosterettes and Warners Bay had the bye. By in round nine of the women's plate, and of course, Turgle, Avoca had a win, uh, had a win over Musselbrook, while Newcastle City defeated Gosford. While Cardiff came close to winning but went down to Port Stephens, Kalani, Kalani Val secured a win over Maitland. To round 11 of Newcastle regular Ick, and of course um, the Cessna Goranus and the Central Newcastle Butcher Boys both shared the points at 26 all. And of course Cessna scored first before Central Newcastle fired back. Oh, 
But meanwhile, Central Newcastle were not going anywhere. With a try scored in the final few minutes, as well as a goal kicked to make sure that it was 26 all at full time. Also, continuing on it, and of course, um, and of course, Macquarie got defeated by Wyon 22 14. While Western Suburbs defeated the Northern Hawks. Also, Maitland, also, Maitland managed to continue their undefeated winning streak alive by defeating their rivals. But of course, it was just huge right up for the entrance who defeated Macquarie. Also, Maitland's unbeaten winning streak continues by defeating Wyon 16-0. In round 11, while the match you just saw, Cessnock and Central Newcastle drawing 26 all, while Lakes United defeated Curry Curry 32 to 6, and South Newcastle defeated the Northern Hawks up at Tomaree. To ice hockey, and the Newcastle North Stars have secured back to back wins at home at the Hunter Ice Skating Stadium at Warners Bay. First, securing a 5-2 win over the Melbourne Mustangs. Before securing a 6 5 win over Perth Thunder. Because of that, uh, uh, the North Stars will face their rivals, the Canberra Brave, this weekend. Well, it was a it was a bit of a tip off in uh, in Canberra for the Newcastle Falcons, with the men losing um, to the home side. But of course, the Falcons women secured a huge win. Falcons in charge. Clark. And of course, Newcastle's women were just too strong for their rivals. Munja gets it. Jump shot there. Moving jump shot as well. Clark heads off to Shields. Shields use a screen set by Jukmans. Slices through the gap. Good job. Found a way through it. Another two off. Yeah. Trail by two. Middle but eventually, it be. It belonged to the Falcons, with Newcastle securing a massive victory. No doubt drive all the way herself, does so. Drops the two. And of course, Newcastle winning the match 82 to 72. And of course, Newcastle winning the match 82 to 76. over here at the AES training hall. But meanwhile, the news was also... The meanwhile, the news was also good for the Maitland Mustangs. Right up at home. Shot here by Krantz. <laughs> he cannot miss. He's uh, done really well out there tonight. He's converted that, that three points. And of course, out. with that Maitland's has, men securing a massive over. victory. He'll take it again. And of course, with Maitland managing to <laughs> win sure 97 to oh, 82. Slope, yeah. But of course, it was incredible for the Mustangs women. But of course, with the women. But of course, with Maitland's women also securing a win as well. 
Of course, it was fantastic for my wound and managed to secure a victory. injury from a tumble early in that second quarter. Coming up. The handle. Central cards become champions in the New South Wales country. Like have a Newcastle North Stars has to offer. When you are looking for something to do in the weekend, I have the perfect solution for you. Watch a great match of rugby league with your friends. On Saturday, our Newcastle Knights will play the Roosters in a match that will be broadcast live on TV. This is a great opportunity to follow your favourite team in action. Get some tips from the experts. Don't miss out on, no, on this amazing game. Get your tickets now and enjoy the thrill of the game. Good news about the Hunter and of course the rugby union side, um, both the men's and women's, have become champions after securing a victory. After the men secured a, secured a victory over the Mid North Coast, 45 to 26, up at Scully Park in Tamworth. It was just huge for the Hunter, who were too strong for their rivals which occurred up at the country championships in Tamworth. Also, the women took out the Thompson Cup after beating the Central West 13 to 3. Also, also there was good news right in the under 14s and of course the Central Coast had had a massive double and of course um it was the boys and girls who both won after beating their rivals. It was also massive for the Central Coast with the girls winning while the Hunter had the boys securing a victory. There was good news for the Central Coast Crusaders women who managed to beat Manly with a massive 81 point win. It was massive for the Central Coast, who were too strong for their rivals right throughout the game. Off the glass, no. Delaney, no. That's it. That's, That's it. the ball game. Yes, Chris. Yes, Chris. Returning, to ice, returning to ice hockey and the Central Coast Rhinos secured their first wins of the um, uh, in Adelaide over the weekend. Coach Ashley Marsh says it's been a long time coming with the victories boosting the team's confidence heading into their home game this Saturday. Charging onto the ice in Adelaide, the Rhinos finally finding their groove against the adrenaline. Skating through their first win of the season on Saturday afternoon, getting three up on the home side. It's a little bit wide, icing waved off, Malloy, he may have sealed it! Sunday's rematch was harder fought, the adrenaline taking an early 4-1 lead in the first period. The Rhinos had to muscle their way back over the next three, but a late penalty close to the final buzzer saw them down to just three men and the score levelled. The game went into overtime, but the skipper Bert Malloy sealed the Rhinos' second victory, slotting in the winning goal. He finds the national team captain, scores! Bert Malloy calls game! Bert's worked so hard this season, he's put so much into it. Um, he's, he's pulled the players together, and for him to score that goal was just amazing. Coach Marsh saying the weekend's wins were a long time coming, the team now boasting new confidence. Winning this game has, has boosted this team, you cannot believe by how much. 
Um, and I think they will be a force to be reckoned with. You know, I think they'll be fighting pretty hard to to, 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 to prove that, you know, that wasn't just a lucky win. Hoping to fill Erina Ice Arena with as many fans as possible this Saturday against Melbourne Ice. We would love to see people come back and watch the game and, you know, just have faith in us. The puck drops at 3.30pm. Montana Clare, NBN News. And of course, round nine of the, uh, of Hunter Rugby sees um, the return of its format. And of course, the Hamilton Hawks are up against the students, while the Wanderers are up against Southern Beaches, and Maitland is up against Mayweather Carlton. Well, in round nine of Group 21 Rugby League, and Aberdeen is up against Denman, Musselbrook is up against Singleton, and Scone is up against Greta Blankson. And of course, round 10 of Central Coast Rugby League also comes back with King Cumber up against Wyong, or Berkeley Vale is up against Terrigal. Also, Turkley is up against the entrance, while Erano is up against Woiwoi.